made in America and it can tow shit. Argue that one. Within a very short period of time, the Grand Cherokee SRT has achieved, well, what can you say, an almost mythical reputation amongst its followers. And most of that is very justified, but one part that is undisputable is because of the SRT brand. Okay, I know it's not the vehicle to climb high mountains and navigate deep snow and mud, but you know, it is an SUV, four wheel drive, and it's pretty capable, so I thought I would drive it on this loose gravel road on the way to my real objective. To get technical on you, it's bigger, looks more powerful, and it hasn't even moved anywhere yet. And that's because it has been fully SRT'd. Now the reality is not too much has changed since its predecessor, but some significant elements to look at. First off, it looks sort of leaner and more powerful, in part thanks to the front grille here, which is shorter and more elevated. And on this sculpted hood, you actually have two functional exhaust to get that hot air out of the engine bay. And then of course there's the four letter word, Hemi, which is under here. Just look at this. And there it is. Let's take a look. V8, 6.4 litre, 470 horsepower and 465 pounds feet of torque. And obviously, as you can imagine, engine that size, even though it's an SUV, they've had to do a lot of very clever installation to get it in here. 20 inch wheels, uh, you can see through there, they've got massive Brembo's on it, gleaming red calipers. And then you get to the rear, it has a top deck mounted spoiler and a very nice one piece sort of sculpted under tray with two massive exhausts. But I must add, the Jeep Cherokee SRT is 5,150 pounds, which is two and a half tons. So as you stand here looking at it, other than the fact it's sexy and performance inspired, you'd be hard pushed to believe it can go as fast as it can when it goes out on track. But I think we have to put that to the test. But before we do, I'm gonna do two things which will completely transform this vehicle. One is turn it into track mode down here, and the other, engage launch control. It says apply brake, push the launch control, get the steering wheel straight, full throttle, and go. God, it takes off very well. Now remember, in track and sport mode, about 70% of the torque bias is to the rear, which of course is what gives it that bite and engages it off the corner. In its most aggressive mode, actually four very fundamental characteristics of the handling of this car are changed. First up, it stiffens and changes the damper settings. Then it opens the exhaust flappers. It disables the traction control, but the stability control is still active, although the intervention is at a far lesser rate. And everyone talks about the noise. Listen. Coming off the corner, very capable. And of course it has an electronic diff, which really helps activate all that rear power and apply it to the ground. About four corners in, you completely forget that this is a family five-seater SUV. Eight gears in principle sounds like a complete overkill to me, but now I'm taking it around the racetrack, you do seem to have exactly the right gear ratio for every corner, which normally is a pretty big compromise for most vehicles. brakes are extraordinary. Now those shiny red Brembo calipers obviously have their work cut out, not really because the vehicle weighs two and a half tons, but also because of the sheer velocity that it picks up between corners. 
the downshift is so cool. It blips the throttle just like a full sports car on the downshifts. That's how sophisticated they've made this eight-speed box. But the most impressive thing for me right now about the SRT is the way it gets its mid-corner grip. I head into the corner, I mean, as hard as I can, roll the brakes off into the apex just here. And as you'll see, it just, all four wheels biked. I mean, that is comparable in pace to definitely some of the mid-sized sedans that we've driven. Wow! God, through these edges here, it's just amazingly fast. I mean, that mid-corner grip is so extraordinary and the brake's so capable that I do feel that maybe bravery in this large vehicle is my only restriction. But now I've been driving it around the track, I do absolutely agree with everyone that's had the chance to drive it that this is so much more than a vehicle just to move people around with the animals and shopping in it. It really is an amazing option when it comes to performance SUVs. And of course it looks good and I think it goes better. You know what, I have had a crazy good time driving this Grand Cherokee SRT, and it really does occupy a, a very unique niche. It's a high performance SUV. There's obviously better track cars and there are more capable off-road SUVs, but this is a very special place for this vehicle. Probably pretty tough for most people to justify, but if you can, and when you see your doubting friends, you can just tell them it's made in America and it can tow shit. Argue that one.